mighty right name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome once again. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Our ministry is based on deliverance and healing. It is spiritual warfare prayer. That's why we are pasted tonight that we are going to war against the demons and the works of the devil. So therefore, people of God, I want you to give attention, to give attention to this, what I'm going to talk about in the mighty name of Jesus. You may think that the enemy is outside. You may be fighting the enemy outside and yet you are the enemy by yourself. You might think that the enemy is outside. Some of you, you are the enemy by yourself. You are the enemy of your soul, yourself. So I'm going to talk this subject called Deliverance Prayer to Destroy Dangerous Spirit of Greed and Terrors. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> there is a spirit called Greedy and Terrors. Very dangerous spirit. If you are a person, I don't know if you know yourself, if you have this spirit, definitely you are the enemy of yourself. This spirit can torture somebody. This spirit is an, a big opening door for the demon to come in. People of God, we can fight witchcraft, we can cast the generational curses, we can cast ancestors, we can cast so much curses. But you are the enemy of yourself. You curse yourself. That's why I'm coming this to talk to you and to check with you. This is spiritual mobbing. The another way I could have called spiritual mobbing. So you can be fighting, praying, fire prayer. You go to every prayer, every prayer request. You go to every preacher. You go to every prophet. You went. You you go to even circuit. You have gone to witch doctors. And you have no idea that you yourself, you are, you are the enemy. There was um, a woman. This woman, uh, this is the testimony from my, 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 the father in the Lord who was giving this testimony. This woman was a woman who was very greedy. He doesn't want to, she doesn't want to see anything. Wherever she sees, she gets sick, she feels bad. When she sees something, somebody with something, this woman, she would not talk to, the, to, to anybody. And she was like that. Now, the time came when she was nearly sick, very sick because of jealousy and greedy. She has seen somebody with a new dress and she can't afford that dress. So she went and asked the lady to, 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 to Paul. In Africa, you can, you can go and ask some, your friend to give you a coat, a dress to wear to, to go to party or to go to somewhere. They share clothes. So this woman, she planned how she can get the, that dress from that, 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 that lady. She went there. I will tell you about my testimony too, because I saw that too. Now, this person, when she was, she pulled that cloth, and then she went and wear it. After wearing, she tried, she, she burned it. Now, when to return the clothes, she said, I'm sorry, something, something has happened to your cloth and it is burned. So, please, I don't know what I would do. She excused, but she did it intentionally because she was so jealous. She was so greedy. She was jealous. She felt bad about that dress until she, she destroyed the, the, the dress. Now, uh, that, that, the, owner, the owner of the dress, she was also bitter. Now two of you, you are in the same hall. You are going to enter in the same hall. Now because of this, heaven is narrow to enter to heaven. If you are want to go to heaven, the spirit of greed you must deal with them. The spirit of jealousy and greed you must leave, leave it alone and let it go. This is what happened for many people. If some, some, some people, when they, they, they hear that you are going to get a job, they would, they would work and work and work and work until you miss that job. Or they can even kill you because of the spirit of... It is very dangerous. It is very dangerous spirit. And this spirit, even your own children, even your own husband, even your, your own family, it is, it, it, you, because you have that spirit, you, you are a jealousy against your own family. 
These things have happened. And that's why the Bible is telling us, Jesus, Jesus himself, the son of the living God, the son of God, he said from the book of Luke 12, verse 15, he said, then he said to them, watch out. He said, watch out. Be on your guide against all kinds of greedy. Be on your guide. Jesus is, is warning his disciples. He's telling his that You know, Jesus was teaching his disciples. Because he understood there's a problem. There's a demon called greedy. He told the, his disciples, be watchful. Watch out. He said, watch out. Be on your guide against all kinds of greed. A man's life does not consist in abundance of his possession. This dangerous spirit, Jesus warned them, told them, please, please, I beg you, be watchful. Jesus told his disciples, told them, I have seen a dangerous. And when he was with those disciples, 12 of them, one of them was Judas Iscariot. Because Judas Iscariot was a greedy person. Any man he sees, he, he thinks it belongs to him. He was not happy wherever he see even women who are giving money to the basket he was taken care of. That spirit which make him to die a mysterious death. He went as far as betraying Jesus and eventually kill himself. That is what the greed do. Greed can make you to destroy your, your, your family, to destroy other people. And eventually, you, you also, you can't go free. The Bible is clearing here. So we are going to look at that scripture and you will be surprised what the Bible is talking. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God, I want to thank you that God deliver your people from this demon, from this dangerous spirit of greed. It is a spirit. It, greedy is a spirit. It's a demon. It's a devil. Yes. Yes, Lord Jesus. Jesus warned us to be our guides against convergence, which is greedy, wronging more. This warning is not just for those who have abundance of the word of wealth, but it is also applied to those who have, have, have very little. This is the last days, Pereira's time. It doesn't matter if you are, you know, the spirit of greed and jealous. It doesn't matter whether you are wealthy or whether you have read law. It is all about the spirit that, 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 that a greed person even can kill you with only five cents. They, they, he won't see you with the five cents. He will kill you and you will die. He will kill you because of five cents. That's how bad it is. And people, even a rich person can be wealthy, but he doesn't want to see anybody with anything. I pray that God Almighty would deliver us. This is a serious demons, which would make many people to go to hellfire. So I pray that God will deliver us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's look in the book of uh, in the book of uh, Proverbs, Proverbs fifteen verse twenty seven. This is King Solomon. He's saying, "Who is greedy for gain troubles?" Who is greedy for gain troubles his own house, but he who hates bribes will live. So the greedy person gain trouble to his own house. You you make you you, you gain trouble, you, you make trouble to your own house. That's why I'm, I said before, you may think the enemy is outside and it's you. You open doors for enemies to come in to come to your house and start fighting and bring destruction. Many people, they are sick because of this. They can, this sickness cannot go. Many people, they are suffering because of this spirit of greed. You have to check yourself if you are a greedy person, if you are a cheerless person. You have to know for sure. If you don't see, you don't like other people, wherever you see them, you feel like you don't want them to have anything. That is a spirit and a witchcraft spirit. It's not normal. Why can't you be happy and say thank you, thank you God for blessing your, my sister and my brother? Why are you so jealous? Why, are you, why do you want to comp compete with, with people and you can't afford it? 
Why do you destroy yourself? This is the spirit. It's a witchcraft, very tender spirit. It goes to your house and start bringing trouble. It causes divorce. It causes murder. It causes killing. It causes children to be scattered because you have taken that spirit in your house. It's very serious, mother. It's not a, a joke. That's why we need to talk about it. Sometimes we have to be balanced. I have to teach some stuff so that you can know. You have to repent and cry to God to forgive you. It's a serious matter. Hallelujah. Now we come to talk to see James, the brother of Jesus. James, the brother of Jesus, they were born in the same woman, the same father. James, he watched Jesus and he, he, he was looking at Jesus and his disciples. So, the disciples of Jesus, when Jesus was teaching them, now James is writing, Jesus is not there, Jesus is gone. James is saying, if you have bitter jealousy and self-ambition in your heart, do not post, be false to the truth. Do not, do not post, do not post and false to the truth. Don't, don't change the truth. This is not the wisdom that comes down from above but it is earthly and spiritual and demonic for where jealousy and the self selfish ambition exist they will be disorder and every evil work or practice so james is saying you know bitterness and jealousy bitterness jealousy and selfish ambition in your heart because it comes from your heart when it comes from your heart, then you, you just change the truth. You boast about the truth. You just become very angry. You become very angry, very bitter. You can't even breathe properly. You just feel like, how, you, even you can't talk properly. You know some people, they can't even talk properly. They will think how to destroy this person. They will think how to do it. How to make sure that the person, that thing has been destroyed, or he has been fired, or he has lost that thing. They will, he will work, he can't sleep, he can't even eat. I've seen people like that. I'm telling you the truth that God is, is in the throne, and God is still have mercy. And if you know you are like that, you can ask God to forgive you. You must know. Why are you feeling so bad when you see somebody's uh, things, or when you see somebody's blessed? If somebody has bought a car, a new Mercedes Benz or a BMW, why do you so jealous? Why, why? If somebody is going to the training to get promotion, he has been picked, he's going to get promotion, why? Why do you feel so bad like that? If you press God and say, God, I trust you, mine is coming too, then God will trust you. That's what the scripture says. That if you be faithful with the, the little you have, God will trust you. You have to be faithful with somebody's vision. Then, then others will be, and then God will trust you with yours. Some people, they are very jealous with the visions of people. I know, I have seen so much. I said I have a testimony too. I know when I printed my first book, there were some of the ladies in my ministry this when they saw the book they were very jealous they took my book to the witchcraft to go and break and and cast me that's how jealous they said if christine can bring the book you know i know how to write very well i write i write i write i can write even if i was struggling a little bit pronunciation and speaking english but i know how to write you can't defeat me in that I write a lot. I read books a lot. I study a lot. And I said I, have, I had a problem of, of stammer. I was not used to talk this language all the time. I come from Africa, where we have our language. And especially in, in, a, in, a, in a rural places, in the village, we don't need the other language apart from our own language. So to convert a language, English, to my language, so it's difficult, even accents. So what do you expect me? 
I am an educated woman. I, I have done a lot of training. I have so much education. But when I printed that book, the woman, they, they never talked to me. Even they quit from, from the fellowship. And they left because they, I printed a, a prayer book just to pray this prayer point. It's not something which is difficult. It's just a prayer point, 21 days. And somebody was so jealous. Even they went and then I saw, I saw what they have done. I, I arrested them and I, I cast it. I commanded them to, to not to function. Anything they are doing against my books, they cannot function. And also they, can, they, they went even to attack my voice, to rock my voice. They did. And then you think that person is in the church, not even outside. Somebody like that, that is, that is doing things by himself or herself. I've witnessed some people who are, who are so selfish, ambition, very jealous people. So this one, if you are like that, please, God is talking to you tonight to repent and God will forgive you. Because you, I, the trouble you are in, the problem you are facing, it needs simple repentance. Just repent and stop that spirit of greed and terror. Then God will help you in the name of Jesus. Be happy with somebody's vision. Then God will trust you. I pray that the Father, the Father will renew. The Father will remove that spirit of jealousy. The Father, our God, our Lord Jesus Christ, will take away that spirit of jealousy from you and kneel it in the cross. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. It makes people, even to control your manipulation, it makes people for sure. Because of greed, now they, they, they take authority and start ruling and controlling people so much so that you don't rise up. You find a person just, in, even at the workplace, if he sees that you are sharp, you are smart than the, the person, they will try to bring you down all to fire you from the job because they are in a secure. A, a cherished person and a great person always they are in secure. They, they, don't, they don't trust. They know that something is, is they know they will lose the job. They, know, they, they are not, in, they are not, they are not, they are always in secure. That's how that spirit is and they are tormented seriously. You find even teeth are fighting, you feel pains in your teeth. That's an open door of the devil. When you have that spirit, you cannot be healthy whatsoever. The Bible says that you will be, you are rotten, you are bones, rotten, rotten bones. When you are great spirit in you, your bone is rotten. So that's what the Bible says. You are rotten bones. So your bone is rotten and you are sick. Nobody like that will be healthy. Never. Because that spirit will eat you. You cannot have freedom. You will, you will carry sickness, you go to doctor, you go to preachers, you go to pastors to pray for you, and yourself, you yourself, you are the enemy. Jesus, thank you, Father. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Father, cherasi, kneeled your son to the cross and torture your son. Tell us, kneel to Jesus to the cross and the torture him. Yes, I pray that the Father will free you from all jealousy, including any generational curses in your family, and forgive your family for setting ungodly examples for how to cope and deal with life problems. Let God help you to deliver you from this bondage, from these powers of, 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 of greed and jealous. If it is from generational, if it is from your line, bloodline, the Father is here to deliver you, and you will be free. And you can, you can also decide to help yourself. You have to say, this demon, I have it. Let it come out forever. I command the spirit of, 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 of jealousy and the enemy to come out from your life in Jesus' name. Anyone who is having this spirit, let it come out in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command them to die. Let it come out in the name of Jesus. I am speaking to you. Anybody with that, this spirit of greed and jealousy, let it come out. 
Let it come out and you will be free. And you see from today what is going to happen to your life. This is the spirit. When the witchcraft see that you have that spirit, they come in. Because they have an open door. They say this is the big door that we have to come in. Then anything they test, it will affect you. Anything they, which they set, set and test, it they will affect you because you have opened the door for yourself. You have to close every door so that you can be free. The, Jesus said, uh, you, will, you will be set free, free indeed. You will be free, free indeed. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So the, the, free of, free, the freedom of Jesus, you will get it, is just you know who you are. If you are a liar, you know you are a liar. If you are a fornicator, you know you are a fornicator. If you are a thief, you know you are a thief. You, do you know people they still even the Bible in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the prayer? In the meeting. Even here in our prayer group where we pray fire prayer uh, deliverance, they still they can still steal. They still, they still little little stuff there. People just take it and as if they, you don't see, but he, he pretend that he's speak, he's keeping for you, but he's taking it. And that is stealing, that is thieving. People, they think that they, 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 you don't see them, but you see. And then you say, okay, let them, let them help himself. That is, you know, you know that you are a thief, you are a criminal, you know yourself, and you are in the church. So if Jesus comes right now, where would you be? No chance. Jesus has given you chance to repent. Today is your last day. Chance to repent and change your life. God will help you. Yeah. Heaven is, an arrow, is a narrow road. Heaven is a narrow road. It's not the world. The world is for the devil. A big road. That where you can go free is where you can go be a thief, be a criminal, be whatever. It's big, but it's driving you to hellfire. So if you are prepare yourself to go to heaven, change. One time I went to the store. I, I picked some stuff. Then when I reached home, I checked my wrist, my, my receipt. I saw some other items that this woman, did. she didn't charge. She, 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 she didn't charge me. I look at this, I say, oh, this, why? She, she didn't charge. Then I, I decided to return the back and I, I bought, I said, I, I took these things home and I was never charged. Then the woman was telling me, it, that's not your problem, you could keep the things. I say, yeah, I keep it, but what is the consequence? If I didn't know, that's fine. But now I, I've seen it. Why do I do that? Yeah, I don't want to bring a cash to myself. And that money is like $6. Six dollars would cost my money. It would take every, my money. You may think it's happy, you are happy that you can't return it, but you, they will steal from you. You open a spirit of stealing and thieving, then the enemy will come in and take everything from you. You will lose big. So it's better you return it and it'll be safe. If I didn't see, that's fine, but I, I, I noticed, I saw that I didn't pay this, 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 this product, so I had to return back to the store. And the woman was mad. She said, why did you do it? It's, you, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. She was just, she wanted to, keep, to shut me so that the manager don't, doesn't see. I said, okay, take it, take it. I am forgiven. I am not reporting you. So that's how it is. The enemy programmed something. Then when you accept it, it will come and enter. And then you see, you start experiencing problems. If you are a child of God tonight, God is talking to you. Tonight, to change your behaviors. Don't let the enemy bring sickness, diseases, and take everything from you. You, you, are a, you are a warrior, so you have to take everything of the devil out of your life in Jesus' name. I pray that God Almighty will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that God will fill you with we will fill you with good stuff. That gaff, that, that demon, wherever is hiding on your heart, let it come out and let the joy of God fill that earth. Let the Holy Spirit fill your heart. Let good things fill your heart. Let the blessings of God fill your heart in Jesus' name. Anything that is working against you, make you to open door for the enemy. That, that demons, let it come out in the name of Jesus. I command them to get out and out in the name of Jesus Christ. James 3, verse 16 says, 
For where envy and strife is, there is conviction and every evil work. Where the strife and jealous is, envy, there is a lot of conviction and every evil work. That's how it is. Everywhere, anywhere, for where envy and strife is, there is conviction and every evil work. Then uh, Proverbs 6, verse 34 to 35, the Bible says, For Jairus is a wretch of man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. He will not regard any ransom. Later will he rest content through the gifts, many gifts. I pray that, Father, you stated that jealousy and envy are like costing rottenness. That's rottenness of the bones. It gives, it gives a picture of spoiling fruits on a dish. Rottering away nothing. You know, rottering, if your bone is rottering, is like a spoiled fruit. How it looks like. That's jealousy in the book of Proverbs. I pray that God will deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will deliver you from the demon, from the spirit of jealous and, 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 and envious and greedy. You see, it is a rotten of bones. Go to the Bible and look at that. It is like rotten, rotten fruits in the blade. So, it, you are waiting the bones to come out of your, your body. Don't, 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 don't give that enemy. That is a great enemy. You have chances to be announced and pronounce, be announced and say bye bye. Yes, you have to pray like this. Give me a heart of forgiveness and thank you for and greatness and remove the roots of pride in my life that I would not give it into envious, envy and jealousy. You ask God to forgive you that and take away anything that would make you to have a spirit of envy and jealousy. Because our God is a kind God. He's a massive God. He forgives and they forget. So when you ask God, first of all, ask God to forgive you and you forgive yourself and ask him to remove the spirit of jealousy and greedy in your heart. This is a serious thing. We have seen how it works all the time. Just look at what you, how jealous people have been fighting you at work and you have not done them anything. Just a person decided to hate you. Yeah? They don't want even to talk to you. They don't want to see you. They don't want anything with you. People are going through these demons and they are human beings like that. So you pray like any demon of, uh, of jealousy and greedy from other people against me, I destroy them. It is not going to function. I, you, you protect yourself. Those people with their, 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 their envy you or jealous you, you, you protect yourself, then it will backfire. It will come and go back to them and destroy them. But if, if they envy you and jealous you and you yourself you are having the same spirit, then it will come and work for you very well. So you pray that God will destroy them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My God and my Father, I destroy tonight every spirit of, of, of greed and jealous. You that spirit, get out completely from these people. Leave them in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is being experienced with that problem, Every but anyone that has been attacked by the spirit of, of greed and jealousy, let, let, that, let that spirit die. Let that demon die, wherever it is, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, God, I want to thank you, Father. I glorify your name. I thank you tonight that it is a night that God will deliver your people. Anybody that is suffering, being attacked by these demons, I destroy them in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Father. Father, I thank you, Jesus. Many people, they lose their job. I was praying for my dear sister, Sister Lind. She, she, she has come from Africa. She, immediately when she went to work, she met a demon waiting for her. She was nearly to be fired. 
but by the grace of God, because of sharers and envy and greedy. Yeah? Instead of people saying, hey, hello, come back home. Now some people, they, they didn't drive, they didn't have a chance to go. They are feeling very bad, jealous. I didn't tell her that, but I know because some people, they, they didn't go anywhere. Now they feel like she went to Africa and come back and me, I didn't go. I don't have money to travel. So people like that, they, have, they, they feel jealous. Now when I was sitting, I was thinking, what could have happened? What did she do wrong? But I, I, I prayed, I arrested that is demon. I said, the demon that is attacking the village witchcraft and wherever following her, let that spirit die. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. And then she, she rescued her job. You know, if somebody fire you right now to get another job, it will take you ages, it will take time. By to getting references, what have you, it takes time. But now, you find somebody is waiting you to just because of greed and terrors. They want to fire, they want to lose your job. You can't lose your job. If you are giving your thighs and offering, they will lose themselves, not you. That's, 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 that's God works and protects people from the spirit of jealousy and envy. But if you know you have that demon, pray God to help you. But if you know people are envying you and attacking you, call me. I will stand with you and, and stop them. Because God has given me authority and he, he told me, wherever I pray, pack it up. Ask those people I prayed for. Ask Dr. Rind Shuma. She will tell you. And other many people that have been prayed for them. Even last night I saw a woman who was being attacked so hard. I don't know if she's here in the, in the in a, in periscope. She started coughing. I told her that those demons will come out the whole night. You will, they will come all of them. That they let cough, cough nonstop. And then she called me in the morning. I don't know. She text, text me. She told me that, you know, what you said is true. I told her that they are going to come out, all of them. So they come out. If I pray for you, God will pack it immediately. The angel will take you, the prayer to heaven straight away. I don't pray games with the demons. I don't pray games with witchcraft. I don't pray games with spirits. That's how it is. Even my son David is here, he can tell you. When he had a very bad case, the case which was criminal and, and bad case that she, he, he did not do, do it, but as you know always, people... Some people that are scapegoat. They, you can, many people that are in prison and dying, they are the things that they didn't do. And here, when he came, I said, yes, you participated, you were involved, you, you were found, but now what we can do, you have repented, you have asked the mass of God to forgive you. Whether you did it or you didn't do it, God still is a massive God. You have, you have apologized, you have asked God to forgive you. Then it was very serious. Even, even they told him that he's going to be jailed. He's going to be. I told him, don't worry. We'll, we'll put it away. We'll destroy it. And that's what happened. I've seen so many things happening. So I pray that God will deliver you. God will deliver you from the situation you are in the name of Jesus. Any power of the enemy working against you, I destroy them in Jesus' name. Call me. Our number is 905-487-196. If you need me to stand with you in prayer, people want to destroy your job. People want to, to destroy your life because of the spirit of greed and jealous. Call me. I will stop them. <laughs> I, I, will stop, I will stop them, I'm telling you. Because we serve a living God. Don't, don't resign. Don't, don't run away. Just call me. Don't give up. Don't be discouraged. Call me. My number is, is 905-487-7196. Or you can send me a text message. If you don't have long distance, you can WhatsApp me. You can send me a text message. Uh, my number is 647-608-5207. If you call me this you text message, I will respond and help you. You don't know to you don't have to fight by yourself. You need help. You need you need the help. God 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 is here and God answer by fire. 
I thank God for you. Thank you so much. I have to stop here. And I will continue tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm on. And uh, tomorrow midnight I will be on. I will be teaching. I have to teach. Some things we need to know. And I'm looking for, to start a, a program called What I Went Through. This program, everybody will say it will be on prayer, right? not, not Periscope. Because I want people to share what they are going through. It's a program that God has been put in my heart and I'm going to bring it soon. So please, if you if this ministry is blessing you, show your best. Go and go to our website www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca. You can donate an amount if this ministry is blessing you. We need your help. We need your support. We 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 help children. We help single mothers and widows. We need uh, we need uh, we need so much. But our God is a provider. If you can bless us, we, God will, our God will bless you. If you want to give your tithes and offering to our ministry, I will take them to the, to the, to the altar and I will speak the, to God and your heaven will be open so you can be blessed. Uh, I thank God for you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Have, have a wonderful time. Have a wonderful night. And all the money, whatever time is in your country. So I meet you tomorrow midnight. Still, uh, if you need to talk to me, you are welcome. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi saying bye-bye. Bye-bye to you. See you tomorrow midnight. Bye.